is faithful and he is true. He's our good shepherd, Emmanuel, God with us. The indescribable gift is our King of kings and Lord of lords, the Lamb of God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He is Lord of all. He's the Messiah, the Mighty One, the Chosen One, the Prince of Peace, our Redeemer, our Savior. The resurrection, He is the life. He's our wonderful Counselor, Almighty God, have a Father. What a beautiful message.
no pain I dread, cause I know that I
teacher had taught her in Sunday school. And finally the father said, you got to tell us what they taught you. And she said, well, God made the first man and called him Adam. And seen he was incomplete and he needed to help me. So he took the brain out of Adam <laughs> and put it in a woman. 
and she's called Wolf Man. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here this morning. Yeah. Your presence and your prayers uh, are so vital to the well-being of Bethlehem Baptist Church. Amen. I go through uh, these times in my Christian life, and uh, they're good to have them sometimes. Even though I know in Christ I'm victorious, and I know that all of my sins are in the blood of the Lamb, but I feel like a fake. You talk about a sorry low down, yeah, good for bottom. nothing person you're looking at. Yeah. Right here, you're looking yeah. at. Yes. Failure. Yes. Incomplete. Yes. Disappointed God in every way possible a man could live. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. I've got one thing yeah. in my favor. Yeah. And that's the mercy and grace of Jesus. Yeah. Right. That's all I've got. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's all I've got. Yeah. And to stand and preach and try to tell others how we need to live, I yeah. feel like a dog. Yeah. Hey, brother. But I'm glad my feelings don't control me. Hey, man. But I do have these feelings. Yes. Yeah. Maybe some of what I say in this message this morning, if I say it some how I felt like God has said it to me. Right, Lord. Uh, you you could get hurt at me. Yeah, and you, you could blame me. Mm. And that happens sometimes. Only preachers could understand this. But, but uh, a few things that I have sensed in my thought pattern. I have, uh, I've even said to the Lord, Lord, uh, I'd, uh, I'd rather not say that. Yes, help us, Father. I'd rather not. But, but I am going to try to be flexible to the Holy Spirit. Yes. And say what He would have me to say without the favor of man. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try that. It's not, it's not going to be easy. If you're here this morning and you do not have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, then you have sinned against God because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes. And you might think that there's no hope, none whatsoever for your life, that you can't quit the sin and you can't walk away from this or that. You can fill in the blanks. Yeah. But my message to you this morning, if you'd come to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and under the drawing power of the Holy Spirit, you can leave this place today a brand new creation. Amen. Guaranteed. By the blood of the Lamb yes. and a covenant from God that God in His essence and who He is can never break his word. Yeah. It would be an impossibility. So if you'll turn in your copy of the word of God, we'll look in the book of Genesis chapter 11. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And they dwelled right there. <coughs> then they said to one another, Let's come together and let us make brick and we can bake them very hard, thoroughly. They had brick for stones. Now I want you to notice that in other places they could have had stones. But not stones to erect a building. 
So they're doing this on their own. And they had asphalt, tar, mortar, whatever you want to call it. And they said, come, let us build ourselves a city. Now, now notice who they're building it for. And, and in this big city, we're going to have a tower in it. And, and the top of it can even reach into, plural, the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves. Lest we be scattered abroad over the face of of the whole earth. We're not going to get scattered. No way we'll be scattered in this. Our plan is we're always going to be together in our little city with our little work that's going to get us to God. But the Lord come down to see. That, mean, that doesn't mean He wasn't aware of what's going on. He just come to take a close look. The city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now, nothing that they purpose to do will be withheld from them. Come now. Let us go down and there confuse their language. Boy, wouldn't it be nice to tag up with Greg and say, our next trip to the Ukraine, we can speak English and everybody will know what we're saying. Mm. Mm. Can you see the hindrance of the plan of man mm -hmm. to hinder even the gospel to get to everybody. Mm. Yeah. yeah, bless you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Bless you. That they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth. And they cease building the city. Therefore, its name is called Babel. Mm -hmm. That's where you get the Babylonians. What did they do to the Jewish people and to the temple in Jerusalem? This is the very root of it. Man's doing, not obeying God. Yeah. Because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth. And from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. You can put our text on the wall. The sin Shinar. The sins of Shinar. Would you pray and look very prayerfully into the context of this scripture Bless him, Lord. from your heart this morning as we worship God together in spirit and in truth. Well, God had destroyed this earth by water. That was his judgment. Mm -hmm. There was only eight people spared in the ark of God that we know as Noah's ark. Mm -hmm. Noah, his wife, Shem, Ham, Japheth, and their three wives. Mm -hmm. God said, through covenant, I will never again, by the hand of judgment, destroy this earth 
all the animals and all the people that died by the judgment of a flood right. again. Right. In heaven, if I understand, they are a rainbow. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the atmosphere in our heavenlies that we can look into, we can see on occasions a rainbow. Mm -hmm. God said, I'm going to put a rainbow up in the heavens as a word of covenant that I will never destroy mankind again by the means of water. It's very interesting when you read the Bible and you notice some phrases that you've never noticed before. When I think about the rainbow and I see it in the heavenlies, then I'm reminded of God and His promise. Yeah. But when you read the writer of the book of Genesis, then you will see on occasions that God said, I put the rainbow in the heavens not to remind man, but to remind me. Mm. Just a reminder to God. Bless you. Because the wickedness of man thought better could again come continually yeah. evil. Yeah. And God can see the rainbow and say, yeah. I can bring judgment, but I can't bring it with water again because I'm under covenant with fallen man. Amen. Very interesting. Thank you, Lord. Noah, his wife, Shem, Ham, and Japheth were commissioned from God. God said to them, I want you to go all over planet earth. I want you to go everywhere. And I want you to multiply seeds. And not only that, I want you to take the animals with you so they can multiply and they can be animals, vegetation, and human beings all over planet Earth. Mm. Now you do that. Mm -hmm. That's what you're commissioned to do. Yeah. God did not tell them to stop and build them a city. Yeah. God said, you keep moving. Yeah. You get to a place, you multiply, you have children, and then either you leave the place or your children leave the place and they go to another area and multiply. Mm -hmm. The will and plan of God was that man live abundantly and large numbers on planet earth. Mm. That's the will of God. Mm -hmm. but. Not only naturally, but spiritually. Mm -hmm. Israel went down as spiritual leaders because they did not reproduce. Mm. Their challenge was to take the gospel to all people, mm -hmm. and they failed. Yes. Yes. The purpose of God, through faith in Jesus Christ, that He made you spiritually one of the members in the bride of Christ is for the purpose of reproduction. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you're here lost this morning, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're going to agonize with God as the bride of Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit that you can't leave this sanctuary till you get born again. Yeah. Israel was and is an empty vine. Never let it be said about us. Could you hear what the preacher sang this morning? Mm. Yeah. Use it. They failed 
in the plan of God. Now it don't take God a long time to produce a lot of people if they'll listen to him. Mm -hmm. They were 70 Hebrew Jewish people that went to Egypt. According to Charles Stanley, after 430 years in Egypt, after the Pharaoh had recognized that they couldn't drown the babies, that they were multiplying faster than the Egyptians were, uh -huh. and the Pharaoh said, if we have civil war, I want to tell you the way it's going we're going to be outnumbered. Can you hear this? Yes. Among us. Yeah. Right here. Among us. In our land. Among citizens of the United States. Yeah. The enemy don't have to come here. They're already right here. That's right. Amen. God help us. And after 430 years, according to Dr. Stanley, 2 million Jews mm. walked out of Egypt. Mm. That wasn't a long time. Have you heard the latest polls? Right now on planet Earth, they are 7 billion people. The best they can count. Have you heard in the next 15 to 20 years that our population will double? Mm -hmm. There'll be 14 billion people living on this planet mm -hmm. if Jesus tarries his coming. Mm -hmm. You say, well, what would be the purpose of God so he can save everybody? Yeah. And the more he saves, the bigger the bride will be. Hallelujah. Yeah. So now that you have some of the context, I hope, of this passage of Scripture, then this group of people, spared from the flood waters, was to replenish naturally planet Earth. Mm -hmm. So they get to an area that's a very beautiful area. I mean, it's a good area to live in. So they got together and had a discussion and had a meeting and they all speak the very same language so their spokesman spoke up and said this is such a good place for us boy it's just convenient to live here boy I'd like to stay around here for a long time and I can tell you how we'll do it mm -hmm. all we have to do now because there's plenty of clay here and we can make plenty of mortar here and what we can do is we can build us a city and we can camp right here and we can live right here in a disobedience to God mm. Bless. and not only that what they're thinking is they're thinking that every road leads to salvation in heaven. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you that it does not because Jesus said, I'm the way, truth, and the life, right. and no man comes to the Father unless they come through the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. But these people were convinced that they could do a work against the will of God and the way of God and their tower that could reach maybe to the second heaven would be sufficient 
that they could get in the present. If you, are you living around anybody that thinks this way? Yeah, bless him. I, I, I believe when I stand before God, I've been a good man. He'll examine my works and my good works will outweigh my bad works. And I know he'll let me in on the street of gold. No, sir, you'll die and go to hell. Mm -hmm. It's Jesus plus nothing. Mm -hmm. If the Lord doesn't change my mind this evening, we'll preach from that familiar scripture in John 3, 16. The story of Jesus Nicodemus. You might ought to come back. Bless you. So here we got them, making their own way to God, building this city full of buildings. Notice the purpose. The purpose was... They are going to do it for themselves. The sin is pride. Listen to me very carefully. You can get puffed up in pride. Pride in your heart. And you can get to talking about, boy, what we can do at Bethlehem Baptist Church. Man, we can do this. We can do that. Yes. We can make the bricks. We can mix yes. the mud. And yes. ladies and gentlemen, you can miss the will of God and suffer the consequences. Yes. Help us, Lord. Help us. All these people did. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you the root of it is, is pride. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about two females Married women yes. had family, had husbands that was part of the fellowship of this church. Yes. The leadership, some of it of this church, had them spied a mile away. Yes. I'll tell you why they left. Because they wanted to be in a church where it was all about them. That's right. It's nothing but pride. Yes. Can I say something very boldly? This church ain't about you. Amen. 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 You ought to clap for that. Amen. Amen. This church ain't about me. Amen. This church is about the Lord Amen. Jesus Amen. Christ. Glory to God. And if you're a female or a male here, and if you think Bethlehem Baptist Church yes. is going to make a goddess out of you, right. you just will leave Amen. now. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Pride. Yes. I want to be recognized. Yes. Please listen to me. We're filled with it. Yes, we are. We're sorry. Yes. We're low down. Yes. We're filled with pride. That's right. God help. I want to tell you, we're nobodies. That's right. We are only the clay in the potter's hand. Amen. Amen. Yes, help us, Lord. Oh, we signify how much Jesus has done for us and how we loved him. Yes. And then we won't even serve in this church. That's right. No, no, Great. you don't grasp what he done for you. Right. If you did, yeah. you'd work for him. Amen. You say, oh, it's too hard. Yeah. Well, what about Jesus? Right. Did he make friends everywhere he went? Yeah. No, he made enemies. Right. That was already enemies yeah. before he ever got there. Right. How would you like to be the darling son of God and they accuse you yeah. of being a devil. That's it. Listen, Would you still want to preach? Yeah. Would you still want to <laughs> teach? Yeah. Yeah. Would you still want to sing for the glory of God? No, I'll tell you what most of you do. You'd start laying out of church and yeah. quit coming. Yeah. And you'd have your little pity party. Yeah. You'd right. pat yourself on the shoulder. Yeah. I got a word for you this morning. Won't you get right with God? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Help us, Lord. Listen. The sin... Was their pride? Yeah. We're gonna build this. Yeah. We're gonna do this. I'll tell you what a church better do. Yeah. Before you do anything, you better get the pride out of your life and get on your knees yeah. before God. Yeah. 
and pray till you pray through That's it. and get to the will of God. Amen. God I want to tell you, without it, God's going to look down over heaven and He's going to say, boy, I see something here that's not right. Yeah. I thought about Danny. Danny, it broke my heart the other day. Danny, the church he attends, when you don't drive back here, they have over a million dollar indebtedness. And they can't even pay their indebtedness. They can't even keep paid the interest on the money. The, the last two preachers that's come and pastored tried to help that church. You know how much money they got? Not one red cent because they couldn't even pay the pastor. I won't tell you what they done. They got in the flesh instead of getting in the Holy Spirit. Yeah, preach, and if you think it can't happen around here, it can happen That's around right. here. Help us, Lord. When you get swelled up in pride, yeah. you get to thinking, boy, look what we've already done pay for this. You better stop in your shoes. Yeah. You didn't pay for it. God paid for it for you. Amen. You just remember, God done it. Yeah. We didn't. That's right. Bless his name. I, I, I get around all that preacher Frank Hicks. He's so great. Boy, that big old country church, and they have all that money. I want to tell you, start pinning roses on me. I never get sick at my stuff. Bless him, God. It bothers me so bad. And I need encouragement. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something. What's happened in this place in the last 30 years ain't because Frank Hicks is been here. It's because he took somebody that was a nobody and chose to use them. Yes. God help us. Hallelujah. Yeah, use let it. Let us do this. Boy, we're going to build a city for ourselves. Everybody that comes through here now going to see our big old city. Yeah. I'm preaching. Oh, I'm getting funny yeah. looks. Yeah. I'm preaching better you. Shall. You ain't going to shout on this one. No, 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 no. I said, God, please, I don't want to say all this stuff. But <laughs> you. I'd rather leave here right with God than to be right with you. Yeah, amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. If, I don't, if I leave here right with God and not right with you, I want to tell you whose shoulders it'll be on. It'll be on yours. It won't be on That's mine. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bless you. Mm. Come, let us build yes. ourselves a city. Yes. A tower whose tops is in the heavens. And let us make for ourselves a big name. Yes. Yeah. Boy. God help us. Man. One language. Yes. One language. <coughs> this one, one language. One language. Listen to me very prayerfully. When they done it on their own, Randy, they lost communication. Yes, What's happened? Yeah. Every church is, is a misunderstanding. Yes. It's an emptiness of communication. Yes. Right. Every one of them. Yes. But this and said that, and that said that, and this and that, said a lack of communication. That's it. They say the divorce rate in our country, number one, is over finances. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to disagree with that. That's it. It's because they quit communicating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They quit talking yeah. and gotten problems mm -hmm. with their money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about how I am. From last Sunday till this Sunday, Barbara didn't make me mad at one time. That's real good. Yeah. Now I want to tell you about Frank Hicks. I don't talk a lot. Al went to down in Polk County, give a Gideon, a man in there knew me. He said, I knew Frank Hicks when he couldn't even talk. He did. He worked with me. I'm a man of few words. It's best most of the time for me to keep my mouth shut because I can just pierce you. I can set you straight at the drop of a hat, boy. And I don't wanna I don't wanna do that unless I do it under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Barbara sure. didn't make me mad this week but one time. We had a loss of communication. I didn't say another word. Yeah. I refuse to talk. Yeah. I can go to bed and I don't have to say I love you and good night. I can go get in the bed and go to sleep. Bless you. Communication is a vital part in keeping a family together and making it a home. Yeah. Miscommunication in the church, it's, it's in the record. Yes. Now folks, before, before they started this, 
they had communication. They talked one dialect. That's right. That's right. But when pride got in, yes. and they started doing it their way, they lost communication. That's it. God help us. Amen. Now, I didn't stay mad at Barbara just a few hours because I had to preach that. <laughs> and that's why God called me to preach. I can live with it for months. <laughs> Have you got that now? They lost communication. Yeah. Now, are you with me last Sunday morning? Remember what we stood about in Legion? Was it last Sunday morning? That that's God can even use the devil yeah. to bring a judgment that gets the attention of his people. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the context of this passage of Scripture, God can even use our sins mm. to get His job done. Sure. He can do it. He, they, would, they, they would have never dismissed. They was one people with one language. Mm -hmm. God said, I want you to get this message everywhere. And the only way through their sins that he could get it everywhere mm -hmm. is change their language. Yes. And those that, what we get about ten nations that came out of this one situation. But those that talked to can you so they had to find somebody they could talk to. So they went to an area on planet Earth and they started what God's asked them to do to replenish. Mm -hmm. So even now listen to me very perfectly now for a few minutes. Even in our faith. God is sovereign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Randy, I'm so glad it's that way. Amen. I have failed so much. I have failed so much, but in my failure, in my failure, God has used me. Yeah. In my failure. Yeah. yeah. You got it now? Do you understand this message? Mm -hmm. Are you mad at me now? Are you upset? Are you boiling? I want to tell you why you are. It's because of pride. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Hey, 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 hey. We don't run the show here, folks. No. We don't do what man wants to do. That's right. We want to do what God wants God help us to us. do. Yes, help us, Lord. The purpose of this church, the goal, not to edify, lift you up, and make a goddess out of you. Mm -hmm. But the purpose of this church is to do all we can do to get the gospel yes, to the lost and dying world. Yes, that's, that's our purpose. Yes, I'm under conviction now. Well, what have you done this week to help that? Mm. Mm. Did you invite anybody lost to church? Did you witness anybody this way? Hey, don't, don't, don't talk to me about how you love God. That's right. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want to hear it. Your evidence, you don't have to say it, your evidence will prove it. Yes. What, what about the people you work with that told the dirty joke? Did you take an opportunity? What, what about that person that you heard use God's name in vain? Did you walk over to him and said, Sir, I want to tell you, I love you. It's no accident I'm here. I'd just like to say a word to you. Please, if you can help it, don't use my God's name in vain. He loves you. Don't be using his name in vain. His name is made to do one thing with, and that's the honor. Yeah. We got all these little by words that we use that really represents God. I'm going to tell you, yeah. it's using God's name in vain. Yes, help. If you don't know what those words are, well, you can get a whole print out. If you got a computer, you can find out what they are. Mm -hmm. I'd say a few of them, but I'm not going to. Okay. Yeah, bless you. To do everything that we possibly can to get the gospel to a lost and dying world. <laughs> I want to tell you, church, if you'll do that, and you do a lot of it, we'll do a lot more of it. I'm going to tell you what. You'll never go down. <sighs> no, you, you won't never go down. You'll go up because you'll be in one mind and one accord. Yes. And you'll all be speaking the same dialect. Yeah, right. Oh, Lord, I pray. Help me. Oh, God, please help me. Man, I've got so far to go that most of the time I feel like I'm backing up instead of going forward. Yeah. But I want to tell you with all of my heart, I've got a heart of gold to move forward for the glory of God. Amen. Yeah. And that's because the Lord Jesus Christ lives in That's me. it. Amen. Have a seven up. Yeah. Let's stand together.